Hey guys, let's talk about Chrome OS 107 and all the new features that comes with it. In this video, I will talk about the features that you can use right now and also one of the features that you can enable via Flex. This video is part of the Chrome OS update videos that I make regularly regarding the new features on the Chrome OS, new updates, and also how you can improve your experience with the Chrome OS and Chromebooks. So if you are interested, just click on the subscribe button. So let's now talk about all the new features on Chrome OS 107. The first new feature is a set of new wallpapers. Just right click on the desktop, go to the wallpapers, and there you have a new wallpaper selection with Native American artists. And I quite like them. I already have one of them on the background here. They are quite nice. There is one issue. They don't have a dark and light mode which was introduced with the Chrome OS 105. As you guys see also here are some examples of that, the Google wallpaper that you have already here. Unfortunately, these are just one color. I wish they had this dark and light, but anyway, I'm really fan of these new wallpapers. The second new feature is that you have the dedicated scan application now in the launcher. So you just go to launcher, you have the scan application. Before you had to go to the settings and run the scan app through the settings, but now it's much easier. The another new thing that I found is that if in the launcher, you have the small arrow there to click on it to see continue where you left off applications. This is quite handy, it makes it much cleaner, so you can just click on it, close it, and open it. You can hide them if you want to. The next new thing is more like a bug. Now, if you go to launcher, you have two calculators. I don't know why, at least it's for me like that. I checked out in the Lenovo Duet, it was also like that. I have now two calculators. One is the progressive web application, and the other one is the most probably the Chromos application that's pre-installed. So somehow I have two of them now. The next minor update is in the files application. So if you go in the files in the recent, now you're able to source your files based on the audio as well. Before you had the photos, video, now you have the option with the audio. The next feature is a security feature. So now you're able to lock your screen when you want to close the lid. So you have the option to turn it on and turn it off. In order to do that, you have to go to the security and privacy in the settings. You have to first enter your password, then you're able to uh, turn on and off this feature. As I showcased here, if you turn it on, of course, when you close the lid, if you open it again, you have to enter the password. And if you turn it off, then you don't need to enter the password. It's simple as that. The problem is here that there's a similar feature that make this a little bit confusing and that's in the power actually. If you go to the power there you will see that like to put the device in the idle when you close the lid or to in the sleep mode and that makes actually sense to preserve battery. So one of them is to preserve battery, the other one is for security. The next feature is the secondary keys. That means that, for example, if you use the keyboard in the tablet mode, the touch screen, you can hold on the keys and you can get different suggestions. If you use different languages, it's really handy. For example, if I want to use the German keyboard, I can use just English one, I can just press and hold and use the different uh, uh, keys here. So it's quite handy. So now let's talk about the main feature of the Chrome OS 107 and that's the desktop mode here. So if you want to use multiple desktops, you have some new features which are quite interesting. For that I will demo you guys two of these main features. And for that, I will create some desktops here. This desktop, I will have the YouTube and also the files application open and the desktop too. I will open the settings. As I said, there are two set of new uh, features on this multitasking window that we have here and the, for the desk that we created. And the first one is save this desk to later. That means that this desk one will be saved for later. That means that if you restart your device, you can come back and go to this uh, save later option uh, and just click on that. And you guys also clearly see here that it also shows the small applications which were are open on this desk. That was a YouTube and the files application. This is quite handy and for me it makes sense 
For example, if you want to restart the device when you come back, you want to sh be sure that you will get exactly the same setup that you want to work on. It helps for your workflow. For the second new feature, I will create a new desk. I will call that desk three. And in this desk tree, I will open the Play Store application. This second new feature is called Merge the Desks. That means that the desk tree will be merged with desk two to create only one desk, and that will be the desk two. And all of the uh, application which were opened in the desk tree will be transferred to the desk two. Let's go back to the first feature, and that was the save the desk for later. I want to showcase this feature by restarting the uh, Chrome OS. And I want to show you that if you restart the device, if you come back, you're able to see this desk and use it as you intended to. So let's just wait for the Chrome OS to boot up. And after that, we have to enter our password here. And now that the desktop is there, now you can also restart the, what you had open before. But I want to go and show that if I want to restore the desk one, which I saved for later, do you guys see that? You can just click on that and you can open the desk one. And here you have to, I have to have this YouTube application and also the files application open here, which works exactly how it should be. The last feature which I want to talk about in this video is the split uh, window view for the multitasking and in order to enable it on the Chrome OS 107 you need flags you have to enable two flags actually this feature was in, uh, initially introduced with the Chrome OS 106 as I remember but uh, there were some issues back then so I couldn't use it properly but now it worked quite well so that's why I want to show you guys how it works actually one of the uh, flags that you have to enable, it enables the floating of the windows and you can pin it. It will pin the window on top of all of the windows. And the second flag that you have to enable is the partial split. That means that you can uh, divide the square in different sizes. So before for the multitasking, you just make it half half and now you will have a little bit more options. So let me show you case this feature for you guys with the window that I have open here. The first flag that we activated was about the floating and this one, you have a small pin there. When you click on that, it pins the window on top of all of the windows. And in this case, it will remain always on the top. So if you unpin it, it will go back to the normal case when you can click on the window below and it will bring it to the front. The second flag that we enabled was the partial split feature. As you guys see here, when you click on the restore or this maximize button, now you have more options. You can have a half half, you can have the partial. That means that one of the screens would uh, be uh, take the smaller portion of the whole screen, another one a bit larger. Then you have the full size option. Then you have the float on top, which exactly does the same as this pin. It brings the uh, pins the window on top of the other windows and but it's kind of redundant that you have to float on top here and also the pin there maybe because I enabled two flags but that was necessary before to make this feature works but as I show you guys here these features now work quite well and they are maybe ready for the final release, maybe in the Chrome OS 108 or 109, we will see. So that was it for all of the features that I found in the Chrome OS 107. One of the features was about the framing the camera uh, when you use the camera app, but this feature didn't work for me, so I couldn't showcase you for you guys here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.